Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So this morning, after the maintenance, Global got a new data download, and today, as always, we're going to check out exactly what's going on together. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all of these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then make sure to go ahead and do so. And with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. So starting from the top here, we have a few assets related to the upcoming World Tournament on Global, which is starting in, I believe, just under two days from now. And the first thing is the World Tournament Reward Fizz Kid Vegeta. So if you guys want him, then all you got to do is score either 23 million points. And for some extra copies, you got to be in the top... 20,000. Yeah, top 20k, but if you just want one copy, then 23 million points is enough to get uh, this kid Vegeta, and we will talk about what he does in a second. But from there, we also have two World Tournament Dokkan Awakenings. The first one is for the AGL Grandpa Gohan, and the other one is for the Fizz Chi Chi. And both of them are very, very good, just like you know, these uh, World Tournament Awakenings typically are, so stay tuned for their details a little bit later in the video. But uh, yeah, two Awakenings and one new unit for the 37th, no, I think it's 37th, yeah, 37th Global World Tournament, okay? And after that, okay, so we have these countdown screens. If you guys logged into your game already, you would have noticed that the uh, countdown to the 6th anniversary is officially underway. Today we will see this screen, the 7 days remaining until our 6th anniversary with Goku and the Zenos. And then tomorrow, we'll get the 6 days remaining with the Vegeta. And then 5 days remaining, 4 days remaining, 3 days remaining, 2 days, and finally 1 day. And the anniversary will officially begin on July 6th slash 7th, depending on your time zone, but it's it's happening, guys. The countdown is underway. We do have a new login bonus. We have, uh, honestly, I haven't looked at the in-game news too closely, so if there's other stuff, I'm not really sure right now, but either way, the countdown is underway. The anniversary is one week away, so uh, that's obviously pretty freaking exciting. And what else do we have? Uh, oh, some typical World Tournament promo stuff, so, you know, some, some banners, some promo banners, all that good stuff. Nothing too crazy here. Now, it looks like there's also this returning login screen, so I don't know if this means that they change things up. Obviously, it's been a while since I've, I've received this, because I don't ever, you know, stay away from the game for that long, but this might be a new returning login bonus thing. And if you look at this last screen here, uh, let me see, actually, hold on. Um, there's a bunch of different screens here. I don't know if it's like, oh, it must be different tiers. Yeah, it must be different tiers. So it depends on how long you've been away from the game. And the longer you've been away, the better your returning login bonus will be. And look at this last one, guys. It's pretty, pretty wild. So first day, you get 15 stones. Uh, third day, you get 10 stones. Uh, let's see, fifth day, you get 15 stones. And then on the seventh day, you get 30 stones. So in total, you're getting 70 stones, man. 70 stones over the course of a week for not playing the game. Although, to be fair, to be fair, um, you're always going to be getting more stones if you do play the game. So don't think like, oh, I'm actually getting more stones if I just don't play, just wait for the login bonus. That's not true because if you add up like the missions... If you add up the daily logins, if you add up like new, you know, events and stuff like that, you're always going to be getting more stones typically compared to not playing the game and, and waiting for this returning login bonus. But either way, if someone has to leave the game for a while and they just can't play and they come back to this, that's a nice way to return, you know? So pretty awesome stuff. And after that, we have a few fixes to some existing assets in the game, specifically to Raccoon and Mercenary Tau. So apparently, Raccoon's boots got fixed. Cyborg Tau's chest logo colors 
got adjusted, and also Cyborg slash Mercenary Tau's battle assets were fixed. He now has a jetpack. So we're gonna do a little spot the difference here. Um, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so as you can see, the tip of his boots are now different. I don't think too many people noticed that, but there you go. And uh, same thing from this back shot here, we have different boots. And for Mercenary Tau, his chest logo colors got adjusted. I don't really... Oh, okay, so black circle, red circle. Black circle, red circle. I think that might be it. And uh, yeah, once again, Raccoon's boots are different. And... Yep, as you can see, different boots and different boots in here as well. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, they also changed it in this art. Uh, for Tao, yeah, the circle around his emblem or his logo is a different color now. And um, yeah, that apparently is a thing. Once again, I don't think it's gonna change anybody's lives, but um, glad to know that they're still paying attention to little details like that. I would obviously prefer if they focused more on the big picture, you know, things like the friend system still needing a lot of work, but <laughs> hopefully we'll get to that eventually. Hopefully we'll get to that eventually. But uh, yeah, as you can see, they also updated some story assets for Raccoon. His boots are all white now instead of with like the, you know, yellow tip and uh, same thing for, for Tao, different logo on his chest. Um, that seems to be everything that was included in this data download. It was basically the countdown stuff, the world tournament stuff, uh, some comeback login stuff, and also the fixes to Tao and Raccoon. Oh, and we also did get app update 4.17.7. And while there weren't any major changes introduced here, the main thing I noticed is the fact that we now have the 6th anniversary app icon with the UI Goku holding the 6 star Dragon Ball, which is pretty freaking awesome. So there you go. And uh, that about does it for today's data download. Not much else to talk about. But of course, if you guys want to know what the upcoming World Tournament units slash Awakenings actually do, then keep watching for a couple more minutes. All right. So popping over to the Dokkan Wiki, we're starting with the Dokkan Awakening for Fizz Chi Chi. This is her SSR form, and after the Awakening, her leader skill becomes Fizz Types Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%, Super Attack, causes Supreme Damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 120%, Attack enemies, attack and defense, minus 20% for 2 turns. E plus 3, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 120% when HP is 50% or more. And then high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when HP is 49% or less. And attacks effective against all types when the name of an ally who is attacking in the same turn or an enemy includes Goku. Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded. So essentially when she's above 50% HP, she's getting key plus 3 attack and defense plus 100, or sorry, 240%. Attack and defense plus 240%. And if you have a Goku on a rotation or you're facing a Goku, she gets attacks effective against all types and then below 49% HP, she's dodging attacks 50% of the time. Um, so like I said, man, just an extremely good awakening. The only reason these units are not considered busted is because their stats are not very good, right? But uh, that's the Chi Chi for you. Oh, real quick, her links are The Innocence, Battlefield Diva, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Goddess of the Dragon Balls, Courage, and Shattering the Limit. And her categories are Peppy Gals, World Tournament, Goku's Family, and Earthlings. Now, moving on to the Grandpa Gohan. This right here is his pre-awakened or SSR form. And his leader skill becomes AGL type to keep plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack, supreme damage, 
and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attacking defense plus 120%, key plus 3, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when there is an ally or enemy whose name includes Goku Youth. And then plus an additional attack plus 120% and defense plus 80% for 5 turns after evading an attack. And links are Turtle School, Kamehameha on the Family, Supreme Warrior, Incredible Adventure, Goddess and the Dragon Balls, and Shattering the Limits. And categories are Goku's Family, DB Saga, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, Other World Warriors, Earthlings, Turtle School, and also Time Limit, which of course is a brand new category led by the new LR Gogeta on JP. And uh, some quick mats for you. His additional attack plus 120% and defense plus 80% is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 384% and defense plus 296% for 5 turns after evading an attack. And once again, if this guy had, you know, Dokkan Fest unit stats, like somewhere around 17,000 attack and 11,000 defense, he would be mad busted, right? He would be like one of the better units in the game. But unfortunately, he maxes out at around 11k attack, around 8k defense, which is not terrible, but obviously not amazing. So there you go, Grandpa Gohan, another very, very impressive awakening. And lastly, we have the Fizz Kid Vegeta, who you get as the World Tournament Reward. Leader skill, Fizz type ski plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack. Uh, greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is attack and defense plus 70% and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. And then key plus 1 plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% per existing enemy. Plus an additional attack plus 70% when performing a super attack. And high chance of launching an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Freeze's Army, Prodigies. Uh, prepare for Battle, Royal Lineage, and categories are Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, and Gifted Warriors. And also, his additional attack plus 70% is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 257% when facing two enemies, plus an additional attack plus 34% per existing enemy. Um... Yeah, so this kid is not even awakened, and he's getting a passive like this, so I can't really imagine, like, what he's going to be doing with the Awakening, which is probably coming sometime next year. We'll see. But uh, there you go. Fizz Kid Vegeta, also mad impressive, just with uh, mediocre stats. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. That is today's data download for... Uh, global June 30th, 2021. Big shout out to my boy Proton 10 mg again for posting these assets, making this video possible. Definitely hit him up with a follow. And that's it. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out